नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं विजय कुमार और आप देख रहे हैं साइबर प्रतिभा टुडेज टॉपिक इज ई एफ एस डेटा रिकवरी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स वॉट इज द ई एफ एस एंड वाई सम केस स्टडीज ऑफ द ई एफ एस डेटा एंड हाउ रिकवरिंग ई एफ एस इन करप्टेड फाइल्स सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज ई एफ एस एंड वाई Actually, EFS is Microsoft Encrypted File System already integrated inside the NTFS file system. It enables to the user to protect their files against the unauthorized access. Even the another person have the access of your physical hard disk or the computer, and that particular person not able to access your encrypted files. so i am showing you ki uh, what is the efs this is the user and i am going to log in with this user and uh, inside this user some person have created the files like i am going to inside the c and i am going to create here the e folder and inside e folder i have created a file file 1 2 and inside the file this is the test file of efs encryption blah blah whatever now this file is not encrypted and if this hard disk will be accessible from the another person that person easily access this file and read the data so the ntfs has the efs in build you can enable the efs from here the inside the properties then click on the advanced here you can see the encrypt content to secure the data yes this is the encrypted file system efs then click on the okay and again click on the okay it will ask for the apply the folder and also sub folder and files yes check it and okay now if you open this file you can see inside the file there is a lock Uh, you can see there is a log means uh, this is the file is encrypted and uh, this file if uh, there is a some other case studies uh, in that particular cases we are not able to access this file so first we will discuss here ki what is the cases are the case studies is that If the EFS protected disk inserted into a different PC, then why using the different PC not able to access encrypted files? If the user is user or user profiles, if the user or user profiles are deleted, then not able to access the EFS files. If the user transferred into the different domain without EFS consideration, then that particular EFS files not able to access from the another domain or the another user. If the account user account password reset, why the system administrator without EFS consideration in this case that particular files are not able to access by the user account or the administrator. if the disk is damaged file system is corrupted or the operating system is not able to boot in this case that particular protected files are not able to access if the windows is reinstalled or the computer upgrades in this case that particular encrypted files are not accessible or not usable if the file system or the partition is formatted and the encrypted 
files left in another disk or the another volume like uh, uh, partition E, D, etc. Then e, that particular files is EFS encrypted files are not accessible. So now I am going to show you if uh, by mistake you deleted a user, you formatted the windows or reinstalled the windows or change the username uh, change the password or the change the profiles then in this case how you can recover the encrypted files here is a software name is advanced efs data recovery developed developed by elcom soft why using this software you can easily recover the those files so here you find this uh, you can go here the advanced efs data recovery search this and on the first link elcomsoft.com slash aefsdr.html then you will find here the advanced efs data recovery software you can download from here and after downloading you can install easily on your system so in this uh, already i have created a files here if inside a folder and also encrypted this in this case this user is deleted or this file is accessible from the another user uh, here the another user is bj2 and i am going to log in with this user we will use the same files you can see the a folder and this file is not accessible from another computer another user so there is a uh, i have already installed the efs advanced efs data recovery yes and wizard is start next i don't have the certificate so the program set and yes you scan the c file here we need put the username username is hacker and the password whatever you have and add uh, when the username uh, access uh, you can see here the next uh, option click on this then click on the next uh, again it will scan and uh, it will take a little bit time <coughs> uh, you can see the interpreter file has been find out inside the e folder and file one two three dot txt click on the next it will ask where do you want to save this file so i am going to save on the desktop okay and yes the decryption has been completed successfully now finish and uh, here is a folder this is the decrypted file and now you are able to read this file decrypted file okay fine so this is the encrypted file now not able to access so encrypted file and now we have decrypted the decrypt the file by using advanced efs data recovery professional edition by alcomsoft so thanks for watching see you again